Oh my god, 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 oh my god. I miss you. You are here. I was just about to go to bed. That's crazy. Oh my god, I just woke up. Good morning. Can okay. we can we talk about can we talk about the sleep schedule right now? I Bro. Just woke up. Okay. Yes. <laughs> I am I'm actually shocked that you're just now waking up. Oh my god. I just uh yeah. before I go, I just have to update you on some things. Oh girl, where are you? Um, I'm at the courthouse if you want. Oh, or you're not, you're not going to go to the, there's a pride parade, I think happening in a little bit. I didn't talk to you. I, I saw Gigi the other day and I was like, huh? Oh, oh hell yeah. No, I don't, I don't fuck with that bitch no more. Oh my God. No, you know what she did? Okay. I, I, I don't think I have time to meet up, but let me just like okay. tell you real quick. Yeah, tell, um, me, tell me. Long story short. Okay. Remember mm -hmm. a long time ago. I don't know if I, if you knew, but a long time ago. We got in an argument. She said that she was going to steal Chatty's mask. And I was like, if you ever take his mask, I'm going to cut your face off. And um, she ended up kidnapping him. Oh my god, there's so much to update you on. So pretty much, I, we, I was with Gigi the other day. And mm -hmm. I thought it would be funny to prank Chatty by pushing one of his boundaries. But it would be technically not me pushing his boundaries. Since it would be Gigi because she was the one that was calling him. Telling him that I was leaving town. Chatty took it seriously. And ended up hitting her with a wrench. It put her in ICU. Uh, Gigi was really pissed, ended up kidnapping Chatty, hit him with a wrench, which is fine. I get that. But then mm -hmm. she takes his mask, takes his mask, and left Wait, them there. Is, is the mask a huge deal? Am I, am oh, I missing something about yeah, the mask? Yeah, so, I mean, you, every, you know, he always wears it, right? And it's because he's mm -hmm. he's been through law. He's opened up to me about his past and stuff, and it's it's very important to him. And he's, he's you know, he hates the way he looks, and so he woke up in the hospital with no mask, and had, uh, you know, just. And she knew this. She knew that. This she was knew. I told her. I, I told her, like, do not. That's the one thing I asked her not to do. Do not touch his mask. And she freaking stole it. And you know what's even worse? I found out today that she was trying to hide the mask and shoved the mask up her pussy. Yeah, she told told me. Like this, yeah, that's that's so freaking sick, bro. Yeah, that's why I asked her if this was like a sexual tension between her and Chatterbox. Well, that's what I'm thinking. Like, she, was she trying to hide it, or is she just like a sick freak that was like trying to like be all dominant over like me and like be like, "Ha, ah, bitch," you know what I mean? Like, that's crazy. <sighs> Anyways, <sighs> so yeah, that happened, and then yesterday, um, I was helping a civilian that I found on the side of the road that was in a car crash to the hospital, and she holds up a gun to me, and it's like, what? yeah, she holds me a gun. A gunpoint, and I was like, "Well, I'm helping this guy real quick." And then her boys, the man, were like, "No, we gotta go, we gotta go." And so uh, they left because the cops were around the corner. But later that day, she freaking pulls up on the clowns. I I fell off a building, so I was like down a block or so away. But she pulled up on the clowns and shot Chatty and shot three other clowns. And then the manor stole ten thousand dollars off one of the clowns. Like it's insanity. Wait, what happened to this was just between you and her? I'm so confused now. No, she's huh? changing her hair color. Like, oh, yeah, no, it's not just between me and her, apparently. But, like, the thing is, when she shot Chatty this other time, he didn't even have a gun or do anything. They just pulled up and, like, attacked. It just sucks. It just actually sucks. And so I let her know. I messaged her today. I was like, hey, just so you know, like, I told Chatty not to touch you. You know, when I found out about the mask thing, I wanted to get her back for that. And so after mm -hmm. what she did yesterday with the manor, I was like, oh, all bets are off. You know, like, you don't, f you don't fucked up. Like, it just also sucks because, like, the clowns, you know, they, they kind of handle things in a more clowny way. Like, mm -hmm. they got in a fist fight with BBMC. And it, I just don't th think the manor does it like that. Like, they're robbing the clowns of what little money they have and shooting them. It's just Ugh. really, oh my God. This really is... frustrating. So, uh, Gigi and I are not friends anymore, and Max is considering selling the house. I, I think he should. Uh, I, I think, think he should too. Yeah, so people get like their cuts back or whatever, but, um, yeah, I just like, I don't know what she told you, but. The main thing she told me is that when she was hit by the wrench, she was hurt because she did this as a favor to you to help prank your she boyfriend. She did. And, and you said that it's your fault. I did. She said she heard you say that. I did say and that. And that hurt her. Yes. But and, it doesn't justify listen, 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 listen. taking Chatterbox's mask, though. No, like, that's you the know... thing. I told her, like, after I, I did blame her at first because I was so afraid of, like, accepting that I was the reason that she was in ICU. 
And so I ended up calling her and apologizing to her and Chatty both because I was the one that pushed the boundaries. Even though it was a loophole, I, it was still my fault. So I, I said sorry. Oh, she didn't say that part. She said that you just said that it's your fault that you have a squishy head. Oh. And so that hurt. Yeah, I, I mean, I, I, I did say some crazy shit, but like, you know. <laughs> right. Uh, but like, I, I admitted <laughs> later that it was my fault. You know what I mean? Like, I had to like yeah. think about it and really like accept the fact. Like, I talked to Max and Sooty about it. And I recognized that, you know, I I was just really afraid of being the reason why she was in ICU. And I messaged her when she was in ICU and I told her that if she doesn't wake up, I'm I'm never talking to Chatty again. And that didn't mean anything to her. Why didn't she say I don't think she mentioned that to me unless I'm like forgetting. No, she probably didn't. She probably didn't because I swear I think she's freaking pissed. You know what, Kitty? Admittedly. Admittedly, I feel like, you know, maybe in another world there could have been something between Gigi and I and like maybe she's just fucking like hates him and me because like we're not close anymore because of my relationship. You know what I mean? Yeah. There's always been that weird like on and off tension with her. So I don't know. I just maybe that's just how how it is. It's just time to say goodbye. Yeah. But there's no saving the friendship at all. Like. Are you kidding me? I've, she did she did the one thing I told to her not to do. And returns the mask. Is is it possible at all or it, Kitty, it's just done? Are that you over it? The mask was up her vagina. Well, I mean, we could get it dry cleaned and you know It needs to be Yeah, that's burned. pretty gross. Yeah, that's <laughs> never mind. Are you <laughs> kidding me? Okay, also, I'm like sorry. I don't trust her at all anymore. It makes me feel like she might have had alternative motives for doing that. Like, was it just because she was mad at Chatty, or did she actually take his mask to piss me off, too? That's fucked up. You know? Yeah. I, no. She even said she knew, she even said she knew, like, she's like, yeah, months ago she told me I, she'd kill me if I took uh, Chatty's mask. I'm like, so you knew your best friend would, See? would <laughs> See? Like, what's uh, up with that? I don't know. Like, that's so, that's so messed up. Like, but you also need to talk to Chatty though, because Chatty even threatened me when you were gone, Ray. Okay, he did. He did threaten everyone, even the clowns. Like I, I told uh, Wendy. Wendy's one of the clowns, and she. I told her I was going to be gone for a few days, and she called me, and she was like, "Please, please tell him you're leaving because he he's like threatening to kill me." And I was like, "Oh yeah, no, I I, I told him. I told him." So I just don't want to like have Octavia be upset. Like I told him, I'm like, I don't take that lightly. Like getting hurt over, like you know, like. There has to be, like, if I, I told him, I'm like, of course I miss Ray. Why would I have anything to do with her being oh, gone? No. Like, why I, would you threaten me? <laughs> like, I talked to him about it. I, I added that to okay. one of my boundaries because we have a list of boundaries for each other. And so he's no longer allowed to um, blame others for me being absent, especially people that I love. Aw. At least yeah. he makes an effort. I'm like, sorry. <clears throat> he does. He's he's a really, yeah. he, you know, I, I think, I think, I truly think he's just really misunderstood. But I... Honestly, I've never been treated better. All right. Well, here's my stance on this whole situation. I think Gigi is valid if she heard that you blamed her. But anything that she's but done I afterwards apologized. has kind of... Yeah, like anything she's done afterwards also pushed the boundaries. So she's also at fault. I know you two are super volatile in your feelings. And so I'm not even going to try to fix this. Because I feel like it's genuinely no, it's... a lost cause. Like, I think she pushed... I don't know. It would have been fine if it was, like, between you and her, you know? Like, you're hurt that she blamed you and she did something to retaliate against you. But she did something that she was aware that mattered so much to Chatterbox. And, I, you know, I, I there's no turning back from that. I mean, I was just, talking to... Because that's, like, I mean, of course the clowns are going to... If If everybody knows, it seems like everybody knows what this mask means. Yeah. Therefore... I just don't even think it's like. We, and she told me I mean, that the gang the wasn't fight. gonna get involved. So why are the gangs robbing the clowns? Like, what is yeah, the clowns have anything to do that. with this? Ask her that. I mean, she's not answering my phone calls anymore. Like, I mean, she messaged me back, but whatever. Like, it's just I. I'm starting to think like we're probably just not even compatible as friends because we have fought a lot in the past. So it's just she's fucked up too much at this point. 
Like, I feel bad. It makes bad. me so sad because, you know, what's funny between the three of us? I was always so jealous because you guys were closer, right? And then, like, I started to realize I had nothing to be jealous of. <laughs> <laughs> No, you, you and Max have been the most stable, most stable friendships I've had since being back in the city. So I, I appreciate you so much. Thank you so much for being. I appreciate you too, but it just hurts me that you know, like it, it's a friendship loss that you guys could have had, but it's just at this point you got like. That's just I don't know. It's um. It's uh, I'm kind of disappointed that Manor got involved. I'm not gonna. I lie. am too. Like I just like, she said that they're not gonna they're not gonna insert themselves because they it, this is like a her and right thing that really disappoints okay, me. Okay, yeah, they... and tell her how she pulled up with her boys and like shot four of the clowns and robbed one of them ten thousand dollars. That was a Why whole that was are, a whole well, separate like, incident. Did, did the clowns do anything to her at all? Like, like I'm so oh confused. she said she said the reason why she went after them was because she heard that they were looking for her which of course they are because she freaking took chatty's mask like she's not just doing that to my boyfriend but she's doing that to a leader of to a, a gang a king of the clowns, it's like me yeah. doing that to like sk or um mr k imagine that right yeah like that's absurd it's like she doesn't take them seriously she doesn't take me seriously so it's like what i don't know i, I don't know i feel like she only cares about her own feelings in this like she's not considering mine at all or like anyone else's Ah! Yeah. Anyways. Uh, well, it's a good thing you're not going to be gone for a while. You could be here to, like, take care of all this stuff. <laughs> yeah, I'll see you in five days, buddy. Huh? <laughs> Hello? Yeah, I'm going to be out of town for up to five days. I could be, I could be back earlier. It depends on things. Okay, I'm gonna be nice to you. Yeah, yeah. No, please, I can't handle that. Listen, I will. You know what? I'm. I'm gonna. Uh, I'll be back, and I'll make it up to you when I'm back. But does that mean the girls are no more? Well, uh, Max and I are talking, and we still think that it'd be nice to get a, a, a better house in the future. Um, I Did mean, you see the Chumash houses were available. I was thinking about buying it, and prompt like I was just like. Really? I haven't I haven't seen the houses. And Chumash. I'm waiting for the ones that are closer to the pier. But Oh, that'd be so yeah. nice. Mm -hmm. Well, yeah, maybe in the future. But okay. you're still my girl, okay? You're my girl, too. Girl. All right. well, Five days? Well, can we? How, how do we negotiate this? I, Chatty's going to kill me. Oh, no, no, no. He, he you, no, no, no. I, I told him. I, <laughs> yes, no, he, I'll just he him with will Bella. not... <laughs> I'm sorry, what? I'll distract him. He, bro, Twinkles called me in a panic and said that Chatty had a gun to his head and said that he he, he was like having withdrawals because you were gone and that the only way to save his life is if he played Valor right now or if he taught him Valor right now. But I'll just oh. do that. I'll just do that. Okay? Well, the thing is, I think I think Chatty's also gone for like four-ish days. Oh. So yeah, so it'll be I fine. Think. It'll be fine. I think. Um, okay, I love you. Thank you for listening. I love you too. I wish we could have hung out more um, today, but I know I'm sorry. You're waking up at a crazy time. Cooked. Yep, yep. I had auntie duties today, this morning, and I, I I'm just cooked. I'm so old. I had sunlight today. It's weird. Mm -hmm. Good, um, good, well, good girl. Be safe, sun. please. This is gonna kill me. My two best friends are going at it. Jesus Christ. I, I, I think you need to reevaluate one of your friends. <laughs> that's all i'm gonna say i know i want to i want to have a talk to her i want to bro when i last talked to her i was like okay this seems not too bad they're keeping it just between them two and now i'm just like what is this yeah it's uh i feel bad because like you know the clowns like they're all poor they don't have guns like they're not yeah, like an like, actual the game heck? a rent shop would have been fine a clown risk would have been fine anything would have... but a full-on like pulling up to blast them like what yeah uh, yeah. I mean, we'll see okay. how it goes. I'll see you okay. in a week. I hate you. <laughs> I love you. Love you. Bye. Bye-bye.